Hello and welcome everybody to a new mod showcase video here on my channel and as you can see right here we've got something quite different this time we've got ourselves some um, a World War II era aircraft, fighter aircraft um, and so far I've only made one other which is the BF-109 which you can see right here and um, after playing around a little with the BF-109 I thought mm, it's time to uh, give it a proper counterpart, so to say. So I went with the British Supermarine Spitfire Mark II. Uh, this is the Mark II B version, which which has uh, four machine guns, two on each wing, and um, two cannons, which you can see right here, one on each wing. Um, yeah, he, yeah, like I said, this is uh, the Spitfire, I know uh, some guys actually requested this one as well, and I think it's uh, a good opponent for the German Messer Schmidt uh, BF-109. Um, this model or mod was originally converted to GDA San Andreas by Toast and Sabro. Um, some of you guys who were around back when I was doing GTA San Andreas mods um, I still know them because I have worked with them together uh, on some occasions and uh, I really like working together with them um, maybe they're still around I know Sabro is perhaps <laughs> we'll see um, so yeah anyway uh, this is uh, why we have uh, this special oh this is actually not supposed to happen uh this is why we have um a special liver here it's what's going on um it's actually uh the royal air force uh, texture or skin um but uh, the special thing about this what the hell is someone dying somewhere here mm. Anyway, uh, as you can see right here in the front, this is uh, the Polish Air Force logo because this aircraft was flown by uh, Jan... Uh, wait, 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 wait... Uh, I think his name was Sumbach and he was an ace pilot during the Second World War. He originally served in the Polish Air Force but um, after the invasion of Germany he uh, transferred to Great Britain where he fought in the uh, area battle uh, over the uh, canal and he scored quite a few kills against German fighters especially the BF-109 he was also one of the first pilots to encounter the uh, Focke-Wolf 190 and that's too much history already. So let's just hop in here. I just wanted to uh, give you some background information on this special skin. But of course we have uh, other skins as well, which are um, all uh, logically Royal Air Force or Navy skins. Let me show you. We've got uh, this one here, like I said. And then we've got um, a tan version of the Royal Air Force. We've got a desert skin with these, uh, I think, D-Day stripes is what they're called. I'm not entirely sure. The desert version. Um, we've got um, ourselves a German Luftwaffe skin. And uh, there was an aircraft in real life, or several, I, I don't know how many uh, Spitfires were captured by the German Air Force. But um, they were painted this way for tests and evaluation in Germany to gather uh, data, effective ways to counter the Spitfires and so on. Um, then we've got ourselves another Royal Air Force skin, this time a green version, and Royal Navy. And that's it. So we're gonna go with this one because I think uh, that's one of the best looking skins we have here. And this aircraft, uh, uh, pff, I actually it was done pretty quickly, the mod I mean. But the wheels, again the wheels. Uh, some people may remember uh, the wheels on the BF-109, they were static. That means they were not uh, really moving. 
because I've had the same problem back on the BF109 and I have had the same problem here and it was really getting on my nerves because I've spent more time fixing glitching out wheels than on the whole rest of the aircraft so um yeah it's still not perfect I've done a little work around I've cheated so to say uh, well but as f as long as it looks good I won't complain so let's just take off here and as we take off I just remember we might have a little problem and I may have to spawn a second aircraft let's just check the wheels here nope it's actually fine okay so uh, yeah we've got ourselves working instruments in the carpet here we've got a speed indicator vertical speed uh, altitude and the working flight stick we've got uh, yeah we've got different weapons we've got the four working machine guns here um, the BF109 mod why is it passing out the BF109 mod also had uh, the four regular machine guns and some people were saying mm, these machine guns they they don't really do real damage you know I can kind of understand that uh, you were wait oh no okay that's um, you were able to fight other aircraft actually fine with the machine guns but uh, you couldn't engage any ground targets because the normal machine guns they don't really do much damage um, so I decided since this aircraft has four machine guns and two cannons I'm gonna assign the explosive shells of the laser aircraft to the cannons it's not really realistic but uh, you have the choice here right so if you say well explosive cannons kind of unrealistic eh, well just use the four machine guns you have here and you're good to go as you can drop bombs this is an external script. See, just I'm gonna use it because Spitfire. Gonna use it for bombs. Um, what else can we say? We've got the working air brakes right here, next to the flaps. As you can see, they both extend. So what I did regarding the landing gear, uh, the, uh, the actual wheels here, they are not, um, oh I gotta fix the dirt, uh, they are not attached to the landing gear, they uh, move on a different axis, they move inside the wing and then I have extra wheel objects, I duplicated them so to say, which are inside the wings, you can see them, but um, they will take the place of the wheels once they are retracted. As you can see here. So it looks fine when the gear is down and it looks and it looks fine when the gear is up. The transition looks a little bit awkward, yes, but it's only split seconds, so uh, I don't really care. As long as we got a nice looking aircraft. And uh, yeah, I actually want to do some more World War II era aircraft, for example, the Japanese Mitsubishi A6M0, um, the B-17 Flying Fortress, I know there's already one, but I want to do my own. Then we've also got the B-29, um, the Messerschmitt Mi uh, 262, what the hell? What is going on? Um, I want to do the uh, the what's the designation? Uh, U87, the Sturzkampf bomber, so to say, Stuka. Um, perhaps it's even possible to implement a sound script for the siren, um, but I won't promise too much here. Um. Yeah, but b before you complain now and say, oh, you wanted to do the Airbus A350 and A330 and whatnot. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. And those will still be made. Um, don't worry about that. It's just that I'm, at the moment, a little bit tired of commercial aircraft. You may understand that because uh, the, p 
past mods actually have mostly been commercial airliners. Although they have... No, wait, we had two Airbuses. So, uh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Uh, don't worry, I, I come back to those aircraft. I, I have not forgotten about them. And uh, plus, these World War II fighter aircraft, they are really quickly done. And we've got planes spawning naturally at the airport. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is not a map mod. They're uh, actually spawning by themselves right now. This is cool. This is really cool. Anyway, um, this aircraft, if it wasn't for the wheels, was finished in perhaps five to six hours. And why is that? Because pretty much all World War II fighter aircraft use the same setup, regardless of the nation. You see, they have two landing gears here at the front, they have the two flaps. Uh, so I just have to uh, get myself the model, for example, of the A6M0, um, open up the Spitfire, import the Zero model and replace it part by part. And I don't really have to modify much after that because uh, the overall shape and so on is pretty identical. So, um, yeah, they are actually quickly done. And the 757 just fell through the ground. Oh, right. Uh, it's much different with commercial airliners because we have four flaps, we have lots of landing gears, we have um, the detailed cockpits and so on, and it's just a Sorry for the language, pain in the ass to do. See, uh, I, I can, in, in the time it takes to make one commercial airline, I can probably get two or three of these World War II fighter aircraft done. If they don't glitch out, that is. So, um, yeah, that's why uh, I want to do this. And especially because we have maybe, uh, I don't know, three World War II fighter aircraft in total. I mean, I've made the BF-109 and now the Spitfire and uh, Vance 103. He converted the P-51D Mustang I have made for GDA San Andreas. He converted that one to a GDA-5. So we've got the Mustang, Spitfire and uh, BF-109. And that's about it. So um, I want to do some more. Um, and some guys may wonder why the slow progress. I think I have mentioned that already in the Boeing 737 uh, mod showcase that um, I have to cut back on the number of mods I'm making but I think I haven't given an explanation as to why it is like that. That's because I have started college recently and um, well I, I've got college from Monday to Thursday and now you, you probably say well it's only four days a week but for those who already visited college or are going to college you know you have to do a shit ton of work at home so it's not just going there but I also gotta do stuff at home um, so I pretty much only got uh, time to work on mods during the weekends and uh, that's why I would probably cut down to one or two mods a week, maybe less, maybe more, but probably may uh, less. Um, so yeah, that's perhaps kind of sad news, but uh, we'll see what the future will tell us. Um, yeah, that's all I can really say to it. Uh, this mod is basically finished. I just gotta fix, flip, fix some minor things. We'll release it later today. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed the choice of this mod. Uh, also hope you you'll download this mod later. And see you in the next video. Take care.